Let's take a look at how to use the Ahrefs Keyword Explorer tool. This is going to help us find tons of keywords that we can then target with ads or SEO or whatever we want to do. We can even find keywords on different platforms like YouTube, Amazon, Bing, Yahoo. But for this example, we're going to use Google. That's what most people are going to be using. And we're going to paste in this example term, Roofing Phoenix. So let's say we have a roofing company and we're located in Phoenix, Arizona. We want to start promoting our business online. So we're going to come in here and just take like you know, our main keyword, whatever we think it is. It could be like Phoenix Roofer, Roofers in Phoenix. It doesn't really matter. Just some keywords that describe what it is that you do or that you're trying to sell. And then click go. That's going to pop up this Keyword Explorer page here. And you can see the keyword difficulty right off the bat. So that's telling us that it's somewhat hard. Uh, based on my experience, it's probably going to be somewhat of a difficult term to rank. Uh, it also is going to show us the volume. So 450 searches a month. Then there's the traffic potential. So this is... Well, we can hover over any of these to see exactly what, they, <laughs> what they're talking about. But uh, it's the sum of the organic traffic for the number one rank page for your target keyword. So this website for this page essentially receives this much traffic. They rank for other pages or other keywords too. So that's how the traffic potential is higher than the actual volume here. Uh, then you can see the breakdown by location. So you can see that most of this traffic is in the United States, which makes sense because Phoenix is located in the United States. But Phoenix is also sort of a general term. It's a name of a, it's, it's a lot of things. So they could be used in other areas as well. But coming down here, we have this whole section keyword ideas. This is where things start to get a little interesting. It's going to give us some suggestions of other keywords that are closely related to the keyword that we searched roofing phoenix so you can see phoenix roofing is actually the number one search term in this niche so the term we put into the keyword explorer only gets 450 searches a month this one gets 800 searches a month so what we could do is right click and open this in a new tab start taking a look at what's going on with phoenix roofing see if that's maybe a keyword we might might want to go after it looks like there's a company that might be named Phoenix Roofing. You can see this is Phoenix and then roofing abbreviated.com. So these people may actually be searching for this company. It's, it's kind of hard to say, but you can see the keyword difficulty drop down to just 19 and the volume is much higher. So Phoenix Roofing may actually be the better term to target in this situation as well as Phoenix uh, roofing companies in Phoenix. And you can see there's different site ranking for this term. But you can start to explore some of these top ranked terms that are closely matched to the intent behind your term that you put into the Keyword Explorer. And you will also see some of the common questions around this keyword. <laughs> How much mobile home roofing phoenix yeah these are not that great of questions there might be some better ones uh, i guess there's not a lot of questions it's going to be this is going to be more used for terms that have a lot of searches usually like blog post related terms uh but there's also rank four so these are terms that these uh companies are also ranking for roofing contractor super broad that's going to be really difficult to rank for. Gets thirty-seven thousand searches a month, but if you're a if you serve the whole United States, then that might be a term that you want to go after, right? You just have to kind of pick and choose your battles here. <laughs> uh, and then it's going to tell us stuff that these sites are also talking about that rank at the top of Google. And then we can dive into the position history, which is pretty interesting. You can see looks like there's this site addicts and more that dropped off the rankings and then picked back up so there are some things bouncing around um, and having this information 
can be extremely helpful. You can change the dates here as well to see exactly what is going on. Um, and then there's also the ads information. So the ad position history so It's going to show us these companies that have been running ads, what position they show up in in the ads, which is not organic. So just keep that in mind. And then this is the actual organic search results. You can click here to show more. I think it'll show up to 100 results. If you just want to see like what the first page of Google looks like for this keyword. And then it's going to give us a ton of helpful information alongside of this, including you know, the top ranked keyword for this site. So it looks like the top ranked keyword for this site is actually this keyword roofing company phoenix arizona so we might want to check that keyword out see if that's maybe a keyword that we would want to target as well and we can see the value of the traffic that oh, i expanded this out you can see the value of the traffic that these sites are getting the, the amount of traffic that they're getting so it's determining how much organic search traffic this site gets in the united states and then based on the average cost per click for those terms, it can figure out what this company would have to pay for all that traffic if they were running these, if they were running ads on Google. So if they were showing up here in the Google ads, it costs them about $10,000 a month to get the, the whatever, 1,100 visitors that they're getting. It's also going to show us the number of domains that are pointing to their website in terms of backlinks, as well as the total number of backlinks, which then provides us with the... Uh, domain rating and the URL rating and then we can see the number of words so this is just general information that helps us see what exactly is going on with you know these different uh, like best roofing company near me that one gets quite a lot of searches but maybe not as easy to rank for uh, with the website maybe be better to target in maps either way all this stuff can be exported exported too so you can download all this information figure out what are all the keywords you can even expand just all the different matching keywords here and you can even export these ex why do you keep saying like that export these and filter through and see exactly what keywords you want to be targeting whether it be in ads or organic and you'll have all the information you need to know whether these keywords are going to be easy to target or difficult to target on SEO or you know, whether there's even any search traffic for these keywords. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you had questions about in terms of how to use the Ahrefs Keyword Explorer, don't hesitate to reach out. You just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? <laughs> so that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade and one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO-friendly business name right from the get-go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is, I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. Alright, I'll see you on the other side.